Hi guys, my name is Jefferson Costa, I'm a chemical process engineer and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to invite you to follow me for the following weeks in a journey to do a site survey and a documentation updates to a process plant that I'm visiting with a, a team of eight people. My job is to do a process flow diagram, a pipe instrumentation diagram, and verify the heat and material balance of this plant. I didn't know the process yet. Tomorrow I will have the first uh, meeting with the customer to know what kind of specification they want to, to be done. And I, I, I take this time to do this series to share with you that want to be a chemical process engineer or if you already are a chemical process engineer but uh, is not sure what it means in the real life, I will share this, uh, this YouTube series to you for the following, following, following weeks. And today I would like only to do some considerations about this series because I have seen that uh, most of the channels that talk about chemical and process engineering, it's not very clear about what we do in real life. In fact, I will share with you what the chemical process engineer do in the the, in in uh, design ops because my expertise now is working with industrial process projects and I have ab about 10 years in this area doing, uh, doing process design for polypropylene plant, air separation units and biomethane also. And <clears throat> And I'm not so sure how this web series will following up because it's the first time that I'm doing doing this kind of uh, recording for the YouTube. I hope that you like it and you help me to improve each video even more. And as you as you can see, I'm not uh, uh, a native. Uh, English speaker, so so I have some tongue in because I'm I'm Brazilian. I work in Brazil, but I already had the opportunity to to do some jobs in Peru, Uruguay, and also Argentina, and I spent about three months in China. In fact, in Shanghai, doing uh, process. In engineering for uh, hydrogen to be trailing station and supporting uh, a nitrogen plant also for Samsung and based on that and and seeing that the internet has not very uh, quality videos uh, about what really do a chemical process engineer in a design office? I I thought about sharing this kind of information for who wants to know what it, what it really is the real world for chemical process engineers. I start this project some months ago, first in the LinkedIn and if you like to 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 have access for my posts about process engineering you can link in the you can click in the in the link below because you can see there my posts my posts about process engineering and nowadays i have more than 24 posts there that i talk about uh, pumps safety piping design and much more there and my intention is to bring that to YouTube because 
as a second mechanism about the as being the 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 second largest or most used mechanism for search it's more it's easy for you to find information about what we do in, in, in a day of uh, chemical process engineering. I, I talk about chemical process engineering because, in fact, process engineer can be, uh, uh, a mechanical can be a process engineer if, he's, if he or her works in a factory environment because process is a sequence of steps and it don't need exactly to be a chemical process. So like in a factory, car factory, you have a process to, to do the car, but you don't, you don't have exactly chemical process. So my job description as I, I, I use in the liquid, in the LinkedIn is chemical process engineer because I work with chemical process and it's about that that I will share with you in this series. And how it will work here for me in Pará. I will spend about two, two weeks in here to do the site survey. What site survey? So, what site survey means that uh, we need to, to go to the field to verify if the documentation is up to date. If it's not up to date, we need to do the as built. As built means that we need to fix what we saw in the, in the field. Uh, what I mean, let's suppose that I'm following, following up a uh, PNID and I see that in the field there is a manual valve that is not in the PNID documentation. As built is to include or to add that valve to the documentation and make sure that what is fixed in the PNID is the same that is built, built in, the, in the field. I'll record the um, as many videos as possible to share with you to let you know what this kind of job means and to have confidence confidence to do to go to an interview and and if uh, anyone asks you about site survey or what chemical process engineers do in the field you will be you will be, be able to answer the, that question. And please help me to improve the, the next video talking what you would like to know about the, the series, what are your expectations and important also for me, I trying to help as many people as possible so let in the comments where are you from i'm from brazil and where are you from let me know how do you reach this channel and let me know also what are your expectations so subscribe in this channel read the ring and we will see each other in the next video my name is jefferson costa i'm chemical process engineer and I see you soon. Bye-bye.